Oh, okay. How about now? How about now? Can you hear me now? Right, start all over. <laughs> Welcome to Waste Out Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, and we take forgotten, broken items and turn them into home decor that we sell at jamierayvintage.com or um, in our retail store here in Lehigh, Utah. We are about two weeks yeah. from having our garage pretty well, like every random project finished. We are going to be painting for at least an hour, maybe even two hours today, paint a palooza situation. We've got some stuff prepped and ready to go. So we need some rolling pins. We're using IOD transfers. We're going to be doing copper. And then after we're live today, we're going to go thrifting some more and then work on some more thrift flips for tomorrow's video. So lots of projects getting done. This is that big clock that sold on Saturday's thrift haul. And I'm going to be painting it copper. Hopefully everyone can hear us and I think we yes, should Yes, I think so. Um, I'm going to be painting a copper, but when we do that, especially oh, wow. on like a large piece like this, uh, we like to put a base coat down. Red, oranges work well too. And that's going to let the copper really brighten up. And I'm not going to have to put like three coats of it on because it is a little, it's, it's a patina. It's a sealer that's tinted copper. Uh, so hopefully that'll work out. I'm going to go set this in the sun. And then I have three other things that we're going to make look like copper too. Well, we're going to get to this bunny in a bit because I really wanted to go purple. And I want to show you what happens when you don't shut your lid on your clay paint. So I'm going to just break this up. And we'll add a little bit of water to it. Let it soften. And then maybe even see if I can get out the immersion blender. DIY paint is the only paint that you're going to be able to do this with. And I promise this is not for show. I did not intend for my paint to be chunky, but we get this question a lot. And um, yeah, DIY paint's the only paint I know of that you can take from this form and turn it into actual paint that you can use. So we'll do this live so you can see how it's done. Because I'm not wasting this paint. Nope. No sorry. Next up, I am I got my red brush out. So we're just going to go. This is Marquee which is kind of like an orangey red. Um, it's definitely still like a really true red. It's just not like a bluish purpley red. If that makes sense. Um, and we were going to paint, I have a bunny back here that's all chippy. I'm going to ask your guys' opinion. We were going to paint it copper, but I kind of like the chippy paint on it. And we've had it on the website for a while, but we bought it when it wasn't spring. And I think it will look super cute if we just leave it chippy and put it in the shop as is. So I'll got to show you guys in a minute. Mm -hmm. But my plan are with this Are you gonna blend bunny, that up, that paint? How are you gonna get that all mixed in? What? I'm gonna put some water in here and I'm gonna let it sit while I work on some other projects. Oh, okay, all right. And then I might use an immersion blender or what? But I think it's not like completely, completely dry. It's more like clay. Like I feel like I can mold something with it because this paint is mostly clay. So I'm just crumpling it. It's a piece it of tape on here. Watch out for the clear tape. It'll get oh, you every why time. Why do people put scotch tape on stuff? Makes me crazy. Or like furniture, you'll be painting and you see the scotch tape. All right, wait. I'm almost done crumbling this up. There's a lot of paint. Okay. What color is that? Oh, French millinery? Yeah. I'm going to use warm water because I think that would... So here's my bunny. What do you guys think? Should we paint this bunny or should we leave it all chippy? He got super chippy. We knocked and sanded a bunch of the paint yeah, off used, of him. We got all the chippy paint off, so there's not actually any more. But I just think he's so cute as is. Let me know what you think. Because I'm thinking this would just be cute as a display piece in the shop till somebody buys him. Because I feel like if I paint him all one color, he's not going to be as cute. And let's be honest, I don't have patience to paint him exactly the way he's painted. All right, this might be a little thinner than regular DIY paint, but I've got my warm water in there. We're gonna make sure it's all submerged. We almost went live and did this yesterday because we had a bunch to paint, but then appointments and uh, cheer carpool it put won. a kibosh on that because people are saying they missed the painted paloozas on tuesday i don't know what my life was like before but i just like cannot get back into the swing of it so we're gonna try at least every week to have a painted palooza or a shop tour as is as is as is display all right 
I, I'm happy with that because that's actually what I was thinking. I just, you know, wondering everybody else's opinion. Okay. Water and some chunky paint. Let's see what happens. I want to make sure it's all like under the water submerged. I thought you, you were going to let that sit for a minute. I am, but I got to make sure it's all under the water. Oh, okay. Okay. You're going to sit over there. The bunny's getting moved to the back. So it's out of my way. Let's get some IOD going while that sets up. So I have this pot from, uh, was it last week or the week before? I think it was last week. I can't remember. One or two weeks ago. It's still drying. I did cottage color and white linen and has a topiary that goes inside of it. So as soon as that's all the way dry, we'll put a transfer on that. It's almost there. I prepped it. Are you so proud that I prepped a piece? <laughs> um, and we're just the topiaries around here somewhere we're gonna glue back on but we've got these galvanized tubs from the goodwill bins so i'm going to be using traditional pots we haven't used this in quite a while i love this transfer it comes with four sheets what's uh 32 is what's eight times four the 32 mm, yeah yes. 32 it has 32 different little p elements so you can buy this transfer and make over 32 projects with it don't ask so, me to do math this early in the morning on camera. So it's a good deal. This is, now I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, I can't unsee a fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> don't let the dogs see it and they'll pee on it. I don't, I don't know if they would pee on a hydrant. I don't fire think hydrant. it's necessarily the color, just that it's like something that's on the street. That they can lift their leg on? Yeah. Cody likes, we have this pipe because we plumbed our pool to have a slide, but we haven't been able to purchase a slide yet because they're rather spendy and um cody likes to pee on that pole and we used to have a shepherd's hook with flowers and he used to pee on that too i'm like cody and he's like this big and he has to lift his little leg that's about this big up whereas our giant dog he just squats he's like i don't need to assert my dominance i am huge okay just gonna do these two on the bottom here so this transfer you get black you get white, which I love because you know those brown cheese crocs, it looks so good. And then there's also blue, which I also love. It's like that cobalt French blue, so. Okay, pretty good coverage on this. I'm gonna just push it up front here for a minute. Kathleen says, that's my favorite transfer. I do love this. We do have some like stencils that are similar, but um, these are great because the detail is really good on them. The nice thing about stencils is you can you buy one of our stencils once and you got it. It's like a lifetime, lifetime stencil situation unless you abuse it. Okay. This has a seam, so we're gonna put the seam in the back. Somebody was telling me that they were in like Australia or the UK or something and they couldn't find galvanized pieces like this where they lived. Really? Yeah. Here it's very popular, the big farmhouse movement. Well, what is Galvin the red thing? So this is a candlestick. That's just like a, I would call it a box with a lid or a bucket with a lid. I didn't know what to call it actually. It's, that, got that, feet. it's pressed tin, it's got feet. It's just like kind of like a cool- It's a container with feet and a dome lid. There you lid. go, container. This is a base coat, right? Cause you're doing yeah, copper. Yeah, base coat going copper with these. All the people that love red are like, yes, he's painting red finally. You can also do orange. Um, that's buddy. a really good base coat. His ears must have been burning. Rex came in for yeah. some loves. He's like, you said you needed a big dog? Do Here we have I a am. big puppy? Hi, puppy Here Rex. I am. You just sweet. And you smell so nice because Jack gave you a bath. We put Jack in charge of bathing the dogs, and he's pretty good. I mean, he makes a big mess of the bathroom. Rex gets bathed in our giant shower. If you guys watched us build this house and watch those videos, you know how big our shower is. And then Cody gets spayed in my big tub. So I always have to clean it out before I want Cody to has it. to get bathed in the tub because he's a runner. Yeah. Rex just sits there and takes his, the situation. Okay. One transfer down. I'm going to do the other transfer and then we'll just put a little sealer over the top. And this one actually has like this cording that, what's this called? Hemp rope? Uh, Yeah. Hemp that was twine. on it that I actually think is kind of cute. So I might put that back on there and just glue it in place and tie a little bow. All right, look how cute that is, guys. 
like just a plain galvanized. Sometimes things don't have to be crazy. I know there's this huge maximalist movement and that's great, but not everybody likes things to be super busy. I hope they don't, oh, if they retire the pots transfer, I'm the one that told them that we needed it in white and like multiple colors, like we needed lots of pot situations. So I will be so sad. And I also love seeds oh, the and seeds ephemeral pack. melange, brocant, all good transfers for these kinds of applications. Um, Zeb's using Marquee. Yep. You could use Carnival Red too, because you're covering it. Carnival Red, um, the, what's the orange? This is going to be tricky because there's a lot of oh, ridges. Oh, I can't remember the name of the orange. We don't use it often enough. Um, you can use Fire Starter or you could use Summer Crush. Summer, Summer Crush actually. There we go. There. That's what I was looking for. I'm like, but like Fire something. Starter doesn't cover as well as Summer Crush because Summer Crush has brown tones. Yeah, Summer Crush is uh, a great um, undertone for the copper, but so, we're out. So marquee. Yeah. This would actually be a lot easier if I was using seeds because any transfer that has like little words and stuff, it's a little bit more complicated. If it's like a solid transfer without little details that are separate, it's always easier, but that's okay. I will work with the ridges. I should clarify that we're not at a summer crush at the shop. I just didn't grab any today. Oh yeah. <laughs> We have a lot of paint. In fact, if anybody watched Debbie's video that she did for her class, she was saying something about she had to get the warehouse to send her paint Oops, because she was out, like out of a lot of stuff. I told her, I'm like, you know, you could just come see me. Oh, I kind of messed that up. That's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, because I actually probably have the most of, I, I can't say for a surety, but I probably have the most uh, inventory of DIY paint because we sell, it's like our number one seller. So we keep a lot well, of it. And after all the COVID like shortages and shipping and all of those things, Jamie's like, nope, nope, we're yeah, not we doing it. <laughs> something like 15 of every size and every color. Plus we have the inventory for our shop because we do not share some inventory we share between the shop and the website, but paint just isn't something we can because we just sell so much of it because people use it up. They need more. This is tricky. I'm not going to lie on this round situation. are very little words get them <laughs> get them on there all right well i messed up a little bit right there but i'm gonna call that a win what i might do do we have that 320 sandpaper there's some in the drawer over there i, I might just lightly have. sand it to kind of remove it from a few spots so then it looks intentional not like i screwed up oh it's also not exactly center <sighs> Jamie. <laughs> the good news is that like actual pots are not always centered. So let's. So these weren't, they're not terrible, right? The coloring is just a little dark. Um, more of your like cottage decor is a little brighter area. Uh, more airy, um, lighter wood tones typically. And we're kind of, and that's very popular right now. It used to be called farmhouse. Now everybody's calling it cottage. It's almost the same thing. There's a few more like floral, yeah, but, floral elements to it. But more, back in the day, country, more, yeah, country con was what morphed into a farmhouse. And so, now we're so you coming had back your, to country and calling it cottage. Yeah, you had country, and then you had French country, which is still there and very popular. And what then should, you had farmhouse decor, which was really just Scandinavian style with, you know, chicken and cow themes. Okay, so that's about a quarter of an inch off. What do you think? You think it's okay? Now they're calling it cottage. It's really all the same thing. No, that, you're fine. Would that make your eye twitch? Do no. you think it's good? I distressed it a little, so it's kind of making that look good all right we're gonna go with it and it and it changes and it and it adapts a little bit to be more current times you know everybody mid-century modern pieces uh remind me of like art deco from the 20s you know <laughs> so this is sweet pickens top coat i um melted the lid so i had to pour it into a candy jar 
case you're wondering. This is matte, I believe. And you just got to seal over the top of this transfer. And honestly, if it was my house, I wouldn't even worry about sealing it because you saw that I was sanding it and how, how very little came off. But So if you've been doing like really pushing farmhouse decor and that's what you've had for the last like 10, 15 years, you know, just add a little more floral, some punches of color, some more metallics in there. Uh, things that are useful that aren't just necessarily for decor, like display your pots and pans out there, um, things like that. So um, keep your dishes out on display, your, all your pretty dishes. Sorry to interrupt, but no, before good. I forget, before it rolls right off the conveyor belt, um, if you've signed up for the craft kit, they are now shipping. Uh, I think 30 boxes went out yesterday. We have about 150 um, and they're already boxed. So they're just labeling and shipping them today. When you get your craft kit, this is critical. Normally we do a video on our channel, so it's very easy to find, but because of the debacle we had with supplies, we did not want to make people excited about a craft kit that I could not sell them because we literally had just enough to fill the orders and we had to ask a few people if they would mind a metal wall pocket instead of a wood, which actually, I'm not gonna lie, I may like the metal one better, it's pretty cute, um, because we didn't get enough from our manufacturer and they're like, well, we can't send them to you, so we're just gonna refund them. Well, we ordered plenty and then they sent us yeah. 150 and about 100 of them were damaged and broken. Zeb had to fix them all. And then when we were like, hey, where are the rest of our 50? uh Sorry. they were like um no we're not sending you anymore I, we don't I, have them i need to finish why i was telling them that. okay Sorry. go before i forget this is critical because they're gonna be like <laughs> why did you mention this the qr code it comes on your box you take your phone don't throw you, your box away you hover it over the qr code and it will take you to the private link for the craft kit um video if for some reason you throw away the box or you forget you just email info at jamierayvintage.com and caitlin will send you the link now, it is possible that we may have some craft kits available, probably not any wood ones. We'll see how it shakes out, but we may have some metal ones. And if that's the case, we will get them all put together and then put the amount that we have available on the website for you guys to buy. Um, and we should, crossing my fingers, have the, we have some smaller size wall pockets. So we might do some mini craft kits with those. Um, so stay tuned for that. So sorry about not having extra uh, craft kits. We usually don't have a problem ordering more, but we got royally messed over. Like I ordered this stuff the end of December and I spent about three and a half weeks messing with the manufacturer. So sorry about that. You need my t-shirt, Caitlin? Do, can you see if we have these black sheep um, shirts in stock? We usually do. If we don't, um, Ivy can order some more because this is one of my favorites. Oh, I was going to glue. Sorry, I got distracted by the craft kits. It was a pain in the butt. Caitlin can attest to the nightmare that was the craft kits. Ivy and I both just dealt with them. This is why we usually just make them. Yeah, we just, Zeb has to get power to the barn, which we're working on. I feel like on. that's on a, the uh, like next couple of weeks agenda as we move things over there anyway. Yeah, we've been cleaning, we're cleaning stuff out because we're finishing a room in our basement. But um Zeb has to get that cleaned out and then we can start doing craft kits again because we've cleaned our garage and we're not going to blow it up again. All right. I'm just going to set these back behind for now. They should dry fine. I'm just doing a little twine. This actually came with this and I just thought it was a cute little addition. And I may be done with the red for now. So the white ones, um, it's all one. Heather, so you get the you get a sheet of white, a blue, and two of black. So it's not like a separate transfer that's just white. You get all four in the one, all four sheets in one transfer. That's nice because you can use it on, you can paint things different colors and it shows up. Yep. I'm just using a little hot glue to hold my ribbon. I'm gonna go in grab place. another drop cloth so that I don't get the red crime scene all over everything else we paint. I appreciate that. Okay, look how cute this is. I've sealed it. I've put my little bow on the top. Now, I mean, it's just a simple thing to put a transfer on here, but it takes like a relatively cheap bucket that you can pick up thrifting or at your local craft store or yard sales and just makes them so much cuter. 
And coming into spring, things like this are really going to be popular because people are going to want to plant in them or put like flowers in them. I could just never have enough. All right, let's see if this one's. So this is my topiary. Let me show you what goes in this. If you didn't see when we bought it, I've got this. So as soon as I get the transfer on here, we'll glue this in place. And I do have some moss. So once it's glued in, then we're going to hot glue moss. I always keep moss on hand because whenever you find these, inevitably this part is loose. Nobody wants to buy it. And all it requires is a glue and some dollar store moss and it looks brand new. Does that have enough moss on it? You don't even need to use. Um, well, store. see how there's a big hole there. So once I glue it, I'll need to cover the glue with moss. You could also use spray foam if it's like a lot of foam is missing, but just be careful because that expands. Okay, let's try another. I think I'm going to go blue. Do a blue one. Let me do this. We'll do the Lay Hardy one. <clears throat> I had all my tools out here. Now I gotta. What are you doing next? Um, I was gonna get those rolling pins out. Oh, in just okay. A second. Yeah, please they don't should get... be. Maybe wash your hands first. Yeah, I'm gonna also wash my hands. We love red, but it, it really is a crime scene. Like, well, the DIY like paint glitter. is so pigmented; it just gets on everything yeah. if you touch it, or and it shows up really bright. Like, if you're painting something white and then you get a little hint of red on there, it's, you, you can't get rid of it. It's, it's a like it's paint. a situation. So longer than an hour, probably longer than an hour today. I'm gonna put yeah, because I got the clock drying outside and I haven't even put copper on it, and I want to finish that. Since we didn't get to paint a Palooza yesterday, we don't even know. Yeah. I didn't eat breakfast, so there is a limit to how long we can do this. Because if when I start getting hangry, then I start getting snippy. Some people start commenting that I should be nicer to my husband. It's just, it's a whole thing. Okay, that's good right there. Committing. This actually already sold. So all your DIY paints have dried out. Well, then you're in the right place because we you can add some water to them. I just did that to my purple. You need to make sure you're getting those lids on tight. Um, so make sure you're wiping those lids every time. But I'll show you how you can rehydrate it. I'll check on my rehydrated paint here in a second because if you missed the beginning of this video, I had a completely dried out purple that I crumpled up and put in warm water. And we're going to see if we can get it to reactivate. <laughs> like I worked very hard on all those rolling pins. They're up here and... very precariously. Yeah, they, it's so we have a window right here because this used to be the exterior of the house, but it just goes into the mudroom. And so I lean them all up against the window. Do you have some of that white out stuff? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's right there. You might have to heat gun it. But that's all right. You should see, well, there were a bunch of rolling pins in my old window and it's like a paned window so I can like use each. Oh, you knocked the oh, camera. I did what I told you not to do. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Zeb's going to fix the camera. It's funny because he, there we are. We're back. He told me not to go in front of the. I'm like, don't bump it. The, the cord's getting starting to get loose because it's an old cord. And here I go. It's kind of like you told me not to run into the freezer in the garage. And then who ran into the freezer? We've both done it. Now. Well, now I've done it. But who did it first? <laughs> I did. Not me. I mean, I think maybe you just did it because you didn't want me to feel bad. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You're such, you're so generous that way. All right. So I'm using 320 just to lightly sand this. If you're going to sand over the cottage color that has a built-in sealer, you don't want to use anything uh, with a lower number than 220. But we've been loving the 320 lately because it sands it without making it peel. And I'm not pushing super hard. I'm going to distress this transfer a little bit too to try to make it look less like a sticker and more like it's already been there for a while do be careful uh sanding transfers because there are pigments so you can smear it and especially the ones with uh red any red in a transfer and you can have problems with smearing um thanks caitlin for linking the transfer and rashonda says uh, Zeb, semicolon, do as I say, not as I do. 
<laughs> my favorite is when he can't find something and then he like is just like somebody must have moved it and then he finds That's, it where only he would have put it you know when people get to moving my stuff just just don't organize sometimes it. you're that it, people just leave it out sometimes who's leave the it one out that, in the open sometimes who's the one that moved it occasionally occasionally like once a year if i can't find something i automatically <laughs> assume it was me because i'm forgetful all right where are the stamps you wanted on these i pulled them out there sorry they're piled up right over there on that cabinet okay i tried to be semi-prepared we just like to tease each other for those of you that are new here zeb and i spend about 24 hours a day together so we know each other's habits all right just a little bit of distressing i distressed this um transfer just a little bit but I love the blue on here. I'm just going to seal over top of it. And then this will be ready to glue back in. Okay. And Sherry the... says, it's okay. If you, if you're not perfect. Oh, <laughs> perfection. That's, He's that's pretty an darn unattainable close. goal. But we all need Jesus. So he's not perfect. Oh, this is, okay. this is like stone using gray. this to remove any um, sanding dust. It's 50 degrees in uh, the Twin Cities. It is going to possibly start snowing here and raining tomorrow, but we've had some it's gorgeous like a mix. weather. I, I haven't even put a jacket on yet today, and it's morning time. I've been like outside doing stuff and running back and forth between the shop, and and uh, it's it's awesome. I'm just going to go ahead and run this sealer all the way around, even though I technically don't have to. Just so that way I don't have like a line where it stops and starts. It always surprises me like how acclimated I get to it being like 17 degrees for the high. And then it gets to be like 40 or 50 and it feels like a summer day. Like I legitimately get sweaty outside if I have a jacket on and it's like above 40 degrees. Sherry says she loves my hair. I decided to try a messy bun. It's funny when it's I used to always minute. wear it like this, I get these comments like, her hair is crazy. <laughs> but it's been a while since I've worn it. Ow. Okay. Cool. All right. So we've done this one quite a bit. This is the stone gray ink, I believe. Do you prefer ink or paint for stamps? I like ink. What do you like? The ink is going to give you more of a crisp finish. I like wood glue as opposed to oh. hot glue, but it takes a while to set up. So might have to wipe this off. I right? like to add the wood glue in first for longevity and the hot glue to hold this sucker in place in the time being. Hold on. I shifted because I was worried about my mic getting in the ink. Oh no. You're shifty. I like if I'm doing something and I want it to look hand painted, I like to use um paint but only on stencils or sorry stamps that aren't super detailed not stencils all right this if is the stamps permanent. are super detailed i feel like they look better with ink yeah they i like ink um this is permanent ink and it's already drying up on some I places can repaint it. i'm gonna just yeah i'll just swipe it real quick so let it dry and then lightly sand it and i'll repaint it for you okay. so that's the fun part about like painting and these crafts don't be so stressed if you mess it up that you can't just that go back straight. over and put some more paint on well i'm a little stressed because this is already sold so i gotta make it look no, good what are you gonna do you can't you can't mess I'm just gonna hold up. this for a minute while this hot glue sets up and then i'll go run and grab my moss like it's hard because this is on a not flat surface it's gonna be a minute which stamps do you have lined up for the roller? So we have the Lake Courier. That's the one I just did. I believe we have, is this called Bell? What's this one called? The Damask one, Caitlin? We'll have to look it up. I don't know all the names. There's Damask one, La Campagne or Champagne, whatever, the French one. That we got that one. Uh, Birds and Bees, it's a good one right here. And then we have the Toile one, which I'm not really sure what that one's called either. And then there's this one with all the little antiquities. <laughs> it just gets to be so many names. I know this one's antiquities. It's the rural scenes. Rural scenes. It's hard to say rural. 
Okay, Bella. The Damascus is called Bella. So we have Lake Courier, Bella, Law Campaign, Birds and Bees, and Antiquities and Rural Scene. I don't know that we'll use all of them. Um, two of these rolling pins have already sold, so we'll get those shipped out. And then two of them have not. And one is actually for, for this upcoming week. But oh, when, did you grab that one? Uh-huh, because when we do rolling pins, we just kind of like to batch paint them. So if I'm going to do one, I might as well do five because there's like multiple steps because after he stamps them, then they all got to dry and then I got to paint their handles. So we tried to be proactive and have these painted beforehand, but so that you guys didn't have to watch as much paint dry, but here we and are. Now we're showing you how to fix them. So what I did with these off camera is there's a layer of vintage linen, which is DIY paint because it covers very well. I let that dry completely. And then I just did a coat of the white linen in cottage color because it has a built-in sealer. I was going to have to do two coats anyways, and occasionally you have to do three with the um, white linen because it is thinner because it's not clay paint. So my little hack is one coat of the DIY paint. Let that be that base primer that's covering it really well. And then just finish it up like cottage color is a sealer with the, the white linen, um, and then you're good to go. So two coats and done. So if you happen to have both paints on hand... That's what I suggest using. If you don't, just buy the white linen because it has a built-in sealer. You can do two or three coats of that and you're good. Jamie, say rural juror. Juror? Uh, why would you make her do that? I don't know. <laughs> you guys know that English is not my first language. so. Yes, it is. It is. But I, I wound up speaking Spanish very early on and so... There's just some things that I don't say well, or I say them backwards. It's my favorite like, when she starts speaking English and conjugates it like it's Spanish. <laughs> when I start speaking like Yoda. All right, I just saw my moss this morning. Now it's gonna hide and it's gonna irritate me. Okay, back fixed. I'm gonna do a fresh coat of ink on here just to be sure that we get good coverage and I'm not gonna shift this time. There it a little is. pep talk for myself. Moss gets everywhere, so this is green and what's in there is brown, so I'll just cover over the top. Miss Ma'am is crying. <laughs> she must be laughing at me. I'm glad I can make people laugh. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm Round looking two. skinny in my t-shirt. Well, thank you, Susan. We've been working on it. It's been a slow process. And I finally realized like that I probably need new clothes. So I I went to the shop and grabbed these leggings in a medium. And they fit better than the ones that look like I went like a saggy bum. Let's just put it that way. Okay. We will set this over in the window to dry. And the ink is permanent, so once it's on here, we're going to be good to go. You saw how it was fresh, right? And I still had a little bit of trouble wiping it off. I had just put it on. So once that cures up, we'll be good to go. And, and Jamie says she's going to paint the handles on these at some point. Yeah, I will. Once it's all the way dry. I We have so many projects to do, I don't really want to use a heat gun any more than I have to. I think I I'm going to do two like that. Else. Actually, no, because I don't know. Two are going to the same person. I don't know which ones are going. It doesn't. I have to look the at the handles picture to are check different, the handles. So I don't want to. I do know that the darker one with holes in the handles is the one that's going to be for sale this Saturday. I know okay. that much. So if you guys didn't catch me, I put wood glue in first, then hot glue. This in 24 hours, this is going to be a more secure glue. I like to use both. It's definitely not affected by the heat as much. Yeah. So, or temperature swings. And I'm just replacing all my moss. And then this will be ready to get shipped out because I've already sealed it and painted it. And yeah. Leslie loves your rolling pin. Thanks, Leslie. Um, the, yeah, so the rolling pins are not made to be food safe. Now, I'm not going to lie. If I was in a pinch, I'd just put some parchment paper over what I was rolling out and use them anyways. But they're just made for decor. People are like, well, what's the point? I'm like, what's the point of any decoration? I'm like, this tree serves no purpose. You just look at it and it's pretty. It adds greenery, warmth, interest. Right. 
charm and cozy cottage. That's what it adds. And that's what the rolling pin set. We have talked about figuring out how to do resin on them to make them food safe, but I got to do more research. So that could be like 2029. All right. All my moss is in here. Okay. I think everything. This replacing the moss is so cheap. And sometimes you find these in the moss is just like dusty. So replacing it just helps that way too. That is actually going to get pushed down because that was hanging over. The There's like a blue design. fuzzy on this. Okay. And now the pig is hanging over. Oh, Jeannie says, I have large wine bottles, weight the lower half with sand, and the handles of the rolling pins fit into the neck to dry. They are lined up and looking interesting. Nice. That's actually probably better than my window situation <laughs> that I've gone. All right. This one is all ready. My sweet gals at the shop will be excited because it's already sold so they can ship it out. And moss is kind of messy, so I always like to put it in a Ziploc baggie. If I just put it in my cabinet like this, inevitably it'll get everywhere. Okay, here we go. Round two. I'm pushing pretty hard because I want those images to really get crisp and lots of ink. I need bigger tape for this. There's like so much moss. I got it. So a lot of people ask us, like, how do we do the layout? This is how the stamps come on the pad. And I'm just going. Occasionally we do like review the layout, but... Not that often. This beehive over here is one of my favorites. Are we still working on the cottage? Yes and no. We have taken a break. We have some projects we've got to get finished at our house. So we just got, um, if you guys follow us along on Jamie and Zeb, that's where we do our construction videos. We just did a barn door for our laundry room that we need to get done to keep doggies out. And we've got to finish a room in our basement. We're changing bedrooms around here. Again. Again. And so we've got to get that finished. And then cottage is up there. We are, we're getting back to it. I'm hoping that we can, it'll be just a couple of weeks finishing this bedroom in the basement. The only big, the major thing we have to do is clean the barn to move the tools from the garage to the barn, to move the stuff from the basement to the garage. Cause we use half of our garage for storage and half I park in. Then it may just find a way all the way to the barn. Yeah. And then well, some uh, of it's we'll... like clothes and things I don't want to mix with work stuff. Yeah, that's true. And then we have a window that I would really like to replace because this house is a hundred and some odd years old and the window's like this big. And if I'm going to put a seven this year. Yeah. 107. And if I'm going to put a person in the basement, they need an egress. Is that what it's called? Yes. There you go. So that's, that's what we're working on. And the cottage is mostly all the way demoed, except for I was like, hey, let's open up the ceiling. And then we opened up the ceiling, and now we got to do some structural work. I was work. done and ready to start rebuilding. And then we opened up the ceiling, and it is a mess. And, it's and there is be... structural work that needs to be done. Yes. Yeah. But Zeb's aunties want to come stay in the cottage, so he has to get that My done. aunt was like, when are you going to finish that cottage so us sisters can have a sister retreat, and you can do craft night with us? Aunt Jane <laughs> has spoken. She has, and I thought it was a great idea, and a craft night with my aunts would be super fun. All right, I'm going to do this. And we have all the supplies like right there in the shop. Let me check on my paint, see if if it's moistened up enough. Uh, we could we have a full house tour um, if you go on YouTube after we moved in, and you can see all of it. Just. Just type in Jamie Ray Vintage Farmhouse and the tour should It's pop actually up. on all the channels. It's, it's on also Jamie on Facebook and now. It's on Facebook. It's on YouTube. Like we live here, so I'm not doing a full house tour on the regular because that would, I, I mean, there's a lot of people live here. So like getting the whole house clean at the same time. These big bees on here are pretty great. Oh, Dilly wants a little more privacy. So she's moving down to the basement. 
kind of separate her from the rest of the world. So we'll have an extra room. And then she's planning on going on a mission for church. So when she does that, then we'll have an extra guest room because right now one of the kids gets displaced um, when family comes because my mom is the permanent guest in this house. She's in our guest suite. So I'm just taking and stirring up this paint here. Do you think I, can I fit the immersion blender in here? I don't even know if I can. I don't think that will. Probably just I could get put it, it in like a put bowl. it in a cup. You might have it too wet, but maybe once you get it all mixed up, it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. It might not be as thick as it normally would be. Okay. It's already like, it's already mixing into the, see, look, it's already making paint. Yep. I'll show you guys up close. So this was completely solid like clay and I broke it into little pieces and uh, added water to it. Because it doesn't have any fillers or latex or synthetics, when it dries, it, it still can be turned back into paint. Let me show you where we're at right now. See, we've already got some paint going, but I'm gonna see if I can take the immersion blender that we use for milk paint. I'm blend this up. I'm probably gonna make a big purple mess and wish that I had. I, I normally start on the middle or on the end, but I'm gonna start in the middle on this one because I want less of the chicken's feet and more of its head and tail. How do I paint a plated sterling picture? Well, what I would suggest you doing is using our Salvation Solution Primer. And then you can paint it with any DIY paint you want to or cottage color over the top. I'm actually gonna be using that primer here in a minute. It works great with super slick surfaces. There you can see the rooster. Just, just in case this gets situational. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's not. You should have done it in a cup so it'd be deeper. Oh, well, that's not really working the way I want it to. Uh, well, the problem is. Do we not have a cup? Well, do I have a cup it'll fit in? Yeah, right here. That I can get this in. Sorry, guys. I don't do this that often. Oh. And it has tall sides. Imagine that. I should have thought about that. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm getting there. How many things can Jamie make a mess of before she finishes her project here? I don't know. That's okay. This is, this is why it's fun to do live streams because you guys get to see. Because... <clears throat> Honestly, I don't care about showing mistakes in an edited video, but a lot of times they go long. And so all that stuff gets cut out so that it's not a long video and it flows. But when we're live and we're sitting here chatting, it's real easy to just be like, hey, you know, we messed up. We got to fix it. Dreaming Cat Studio says you're nailing the rollers. Thank you. And we have 435 people watching on YouTube. We're actually on YouTube and Facebook combined. We have 695. Don't forget to share out this video on Facebook for Happy Mail. A little birdie told me that, uh, oh, steaming. Is it powder? Or no. did you get it hot? I got the. <laughs> Let's not start a house fire here. It's getting there. I feel like it needs to set up some more. <laughs> now it smells like burnt DIY paint. I need to, it needs to like soak some more, but we're getting to a paint consistency. It is happening. We're getting there, people. Set that over to the side. Let it soak a little bit more and get soft. How long is Odelia's mission? Um, girls serve 18 months. So if you guys follow along with us, Cooper left on his mission this summer. So he'll be back about six months before her. And he's in Texas. And they don't get to pick where they go. So I don't know where Odelia will go. But she is excited. All right, now she's in college. And she's um, a substitute teacher. She's actually teaching right now. 
Once these all dry, we'll- The paint gets hot. No, my um, immersion blender got hot. I wonder if it's because- Burning up the motor because it was stuck. Sweat. Well, because I don't clean it that you gotta, often. You so gotta break it free before you use it. There might have milk paint. Okay, I'm gonna go check that clock like, outside. I don't know how well it's turning because this is old and has milk paint all in it. Do you need the hot glue anymore? Can I turn this off? No, I don't think so. Okay. So we don't have to do any sealer over the top of that ink because it's permanent. Yep. Um, I don't know if Deb told you that. I did. Okay. But it's okay. We get lots of people coming in and out of the live stream, so it's good to reiterate. I was busy in my own little paint world. Yeah, the paint wasn't burning. It was my my immersion blender. Luckily, I thrift them. I think I paid five bucks for this one. I probably I keep looking and I haven't found them anymore. All right, what color do you want me to paint your clock here? Whatever. And I, oh, I it think... doesn't pop out. Yeah, well, it'll pop out. No, it's they have hot glued this sucker in. Also, what's this for? Is this for like That's chiming? A chime. So I'm gonna have to paint around that. And this will totally pop out. Oh, oh, just don't break the frame. I'm gonna break it. Have we been to the Cotswolds in the UK? We were supposed to go last time. And I think we drove through a corner of them. We were we had some really frustrating things happening with shipping. And so we just didn't make it to the Cotswolds. We were like, we skirted around because we were in Oxfordshire and we were in another place further south. So we kind of like went up to Oxfordshire and we were going to go to a boot sale in the Cotswolds. Well, like across the Cotswolds. We just never, never got there. I don't know if we're going to make it this year. Um, Let's see. We I'm got trying a, to get my sister. Karen we got a lot of things on our agenda this year. Yeah. All right. What do you, do you want me to paint this whole situation? Whatever you want. You could even go white and distress that back through because this is kind of like a good brassy bronze color underneath. That is it's true. just kind of dark and heavy. I think I'm gonna go DIY white so that I can white distress. Okay. Thanks. Shalini Gosh, she says she loves my shirt. Right, it's available at jamierayvintage.com. This one I've had for a really long time, so it's got like paint on it. It's the perfect paint shirt. All right, I'm going to scoot you over here because I'm bringing that big clock back. Use a heat gun to loosen the hot glue. I would be worried that I would melt the plastic on the... I don't know. With my luck, I'd probably do that. Okay. Where's it's going to be a great day. This is like warm to the touch from sitting out there in the sun. That is my favorite when it's warm outside. Okay. I had my white. Oh, there it is. How did this get moved over here? I was using it on oh. rolling pins. Okay. I'm going to put a coat of white on this and then I'm going to switch to primer and paint our bucket. Somebody was asking about painting a slick surface. So I'll show the primer here a little bit. I probably can get away with just one coat since we're going to wet distress it. We'll see. They said I look like a teenager. Thank you. I have zits like a teenager. Like, how <laughs> is it that I'm using like wrinkle cream and zit cream in the same situation? I don't know. And I did recently finally get my Botox touched up last week. So it's finally setting in. People always say, oh, you don't need Botox. But I'm telling you, about a week after I get it, I always get that you look so rested. And I was like... Well, you're like, thanks. I'm feeling amazing. Yeah. No more sleep than usual. Look how well this is covering right over that red. Yeah. It would have, it would have stuck fine to the surface. It was like a kind of a, I would say semi-gloss metallic finish on this before, but that DIY paint stuck right to there. It's working almost like a primer for this patina. Well, DIY paint is a lot cheaper than the copper and covers so well. So it's just smart to put lay down another color first can i see zeb how zeb has the pins drying yeah as soon as he's done i'll have him move there i'll move the camera over camera there. so you guys can see our window it's just in the window so you guys can see our mud room and all the zeb's 42 coats in there so there you go <laughs> there they are if you have a window inside your kitchen 
you can do that too. I would say we're probably one of the few people that <laughs> has an exterior. We well, we could put it in the window back behind, but you got plants up in there right that's now. That's true. I've got some greenery, and then I'm growing basil in the window. When we were deciding how to remodel this old part of the house, I just couldn't stand to get rid of that window because it's original and it's really fun because the kids go through the mud room which is just right over here when they come home from school and I can like see them walking past and I'm usually in here painting or cooking or something. <laughs> Janet says it looks like a car tire. What looks like a car? Oh this? <laughs> what you're doing. She's not wrong. What size can of paint am I using? So this is a quart. This is a eight ounce sample. For small projects, if you're doing thrift flips, this is going to get you a long way. Well, that sample, I just, it was almost full when I started. I painted this whole clock, which is pretty big. And we'd already used it on a couple projects before. And then I also painted these three things back here and it, the sample is still half full. Yeah. So if you're just getting started out and you're doing small projects like this, a sample is fine. I don't mind selling you more paint. But I don't want you to feel like you have to have a quart. A quart like this is going to do, like this is white, so it doesn't cover as well. This would do like a standard sized dresser. Not a big dresser, but it's like a four drawer dresser that's going to be more than enough paint. If you do like a dark color, like weathered wood on a four drawer dresser, you could go, get away with a pint. So just, just give you an idea. And this would paint about two to four chairs, depending on the size. I painted enough, I can usually, and it says on here like, how many square feet it covers, I think. Or maybe that's the milk paint. Oh, no. This covers 140 to 150 square feet. But, like, who's calculating what they're painting? Like, who knows that? That's like some serious algebra. I mean, you just have to get the square footage of all the sides. Gina thought that that was a car tire first. <laughs> no, it's a clock. It's a clock. And I'm going to bring – these had brass – um rivets on them and i'm going to bring that brass back we'll distress back to that this clock actually already sold and is being shipped across the country our one of our um, projects that we finished about a year ago got sold Do you guys remember our carousel horse that we did on waste not wednesday that got sold it's going to be um fun to package but i included the shipping extra in the price because our website for larger items like that it doesn't charge enough so i always make sure to include extra in the price to cover like the three or four hours it's gonna take somebody to ship it and then all the materials and then the extra shipping. But the gals are up for the challenge. They're pretty good. We just brought them a bunch of foam for it. But yeah, our cute little carousel horse that I used by the kids tree this year sold. So that's getting shipped out. What is the blackest black you carry? Little black dress. Little black dress and it is black. And if you want it to be even blacker, when you seal it, seal it with black wax or put a little bit of the black paint in your liquid sealer like this and tint it and that will make it black, black, black. We have some videos on like how to paint black in our repertoire. I did one just before Christmas because I did my son's dresser. It's funny, we delivered it. Where did he wind up putting this dresser that I- In his closet. That I lamented over. It's in his closet. It's fine. It's what he asked for for Christmas, so. He's 21, so he's very, he's a uh, practical. It doesn't actually need many things yeah. from us anymore. So when he asks for something, it's fun to be able to deliver on it. What size am I wearing? I think this is a medium or a large. I'll have Zeb check it for me. About 154 pounds-ish size C cup to give you an idea of fit. But I like to say I'm like a, I'm like a fit 150. I'm thickletic. I know, I still think you could help me move that table. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're still talking about our dining table that your brother who's six foot five and muscular could, you guys struggled to get it in and you thought I was going to help you and Odelia. And then before we move the table, he's like, I'm going to be real upset if you drop it. I didn't say upset. Yeah, I said, you... don't drop it. It's a lot of work and money in this. No, you said you're going to be upset. I was like, well, then I ain't lifting it. because I'm going <laughs> to drop it. Okay. This I, is. I think you heard upset, but that's in not my what I mind. Said. That's what you said. <laughs> it's good that you haven't uh, coppered this side because it may have white splatter. Did you get some white splatter on there? Mm -hmm. Should I put this outside? You think it'll dry faster? 
All right. Is it still looking? Oh, hold on. Let me fix the camera. How long we've we been like that? Um, just barely. We've only been on an hour. Okay. Hopefully, it's not still looking like a tire. We're way high though. After I adjusted that that last time, I had some paint puddling up. Sometimes when you paint, it kind of puddles up in the corners. Then it takes forever to dry. So this is going to need just one coat and then a couple little touch-ups. I want full coverage because when you're going with a metallic, you don't want it to look streaky because then that kind of like negates the metallic effect you're going for. All right, I'm going to see if I can mix this again. It's getting softer. Getting to the bottom of this. Uh, I've got a couple crusties in the bottom of this one. This is an, this is an old bottle that's almost gone. I don't want it to smoke on me again. I feel like it just needs to sit longer. I might not be getting to this paint today. Or I could just strain it out. We need to find, you know what? We oh, could... Caitlin linked it. The Moody Blue Milk Paint is 35% off until the end of today. of today. Let me see your shirt. Oh, it's worn off. I had some There's medium no, large. You've I had would that say shirt by the fit, this is probably a large. You've had that Because a medium would a be minute. a little bit more snug fitting on me. Okay, let's get the primer So to off. give you an idea of how far this copper goes, I was pretty much at the bottom. I might have had an eighth of this. Uh, this is eight ounces. I might have had an eighth of it left. And I almost got this whole clock one coat on here. Leslie says, I love it that you didn't quit and give up on the paint. Nope, I'm not giving up. I got, it's really turning into paint here. Like I literally could paint with this if I wanted to, but It'd I really. It'd be great if you wanted to do like a textured finish right now. Yeah, I really want to get that paint all the way reconstituted. So I'll, if it doesn't happen on this video, I can at least show you by the end of the video where it's at paint wise, because it's getting there. Really, if you had done what I did and just let it sit overnight and then start in the morning and just give it time, it will reconstitute. This immersion blender would be better if um, there was more paint to work with and if it wasn't 500 years old with crusty paint. And already have paint crusting it. Okay, this jar, we're about to call it quits on. I think I've scraped it. You could also, if you want to do just like a metallic overlay, when you get to the bottom of that, add a little bit of water, shake it up, and you can kind of just give a shimmer to your piece because it's all water-based. So use every last drop. Okay, so I've got primer in here. This is Salvation Solution in white. We also have it in clear. This bucket, Zeb glued it. It was cracked. It's not cracked anymore. And we're gonna paint it. And I don't know what else I'm gonna do to it, but it's very shiny. I could have just done DIY paint, but I'm going to prime it first. Lucky for us, I have another pennies for, from heaven right here. Luckily, you planned ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what, Zeb? Can you pull this apart and take this handle off? Like, um, Yeah, give me just a second. Because okay. I don't want to get paint all over the brown. Do you do that shimmer on your white clock? I don't want to do the shimmer on the white clock because I want the gold from underneath, like the brown, black gold to come through. So I'm just going to wet distress that. You're okay. missing some of the copper tire. <laughs> it's not a tire. Now, if he took and painted this white, like a white <laughs> wall, we could be there. Janet says she thinks it's great that we both have a passion for something. It's hard when you try to succeed on your own. Yes, it is good that we do it together because there's times when I'm motivated and there's times when he's motivated. Sometimes we're both motivated, but we keep each other going. And it's boring to paint by yourself sometimes. There you have it. Thanks. You could also, like, if you had one of those blenders that you didn't care about, you know, I was going to say, I'm going to look for a blender for paint. Yeah. The next time we're at the thrift store. They've got them. They've got blenders there every week. Now that I say I'm looking for one, I won't be able to find one. Right. And I wouldn't have normally painted this. It was cute as is, but it had that big crack. So I've got to, I've got to do something with it. 
And this primer sticks to just about everything. And it's like, it's equivalent to using like a Kills except for it's water-based. So I can use it inside. I don't have to like mess around with grossness when I'm cleaning out my brush. I could just clean it with soap and water. If you've ever tried to clean up shellac-based or oil-based primer out of a brush, it's just not good. I cleaned the outside of this, but I did not clean the inside. <laughs> and I don't want to paint over anything. Can you use a coffee and milk frother to mix milk paint? Oh, you know what? Um, that might be maybe. pretty good. I haven't done it, so I cannot, and I don't have a coffee frother. Debbie has about 400 because she can't live without them. All right. Painted on copper, real antique copper. Are you going to dark? I, I am going to dark wax. Oh, that. I got a little white. That's okay. I'm taking up a lot of the okay. real estate over here. I'm trying not to splatter, but it's hard. It's about as far away from you as I can get. I'm going to dry it real fast, and then we'll dark wax it up and distress back a little on these rivets before it gets too cured up. And then we'll put the clock face back in and see what this thing looks like. Once I get the clock face back in, the tire effect will go away. It won't look like a tire at all. Actually, it's warm enough outside. This will probably cure up and dry way faster if I just take it outside. I just realized I primed the inside and the outside, so I'm gonna have a struggle moving it. <laughs> We're just gonna... You might have to break that heat gun out for a sec. Nope, I'm just gonna pick it up and then touch it up. Oh, that almost went. <laughs> Off the uh, countertop on me. I saw that. I was like, whoa, there it goes. Okay, so we got this primed. I'm debating on what color I want to do when the primer dries. I think it may be crockery. Like, Man, huh. I feel like I need to put shorts on. It is really warming up out there. And I actually, the handle is like a chippy white that just needs to be washed. So I'm not going to paint the handle. Let's see if we can copper up this fire hydrant. At least it'll be a copper. How warm is it here? It's 50-ish degrees outside. Currently 45 outside. But it's our front yard is south facing, so it warms up real good. We don't have Zab, your mic is needs to be charged. Oh, did it die? Yeah. I was worried about that. We used it yesterday and it didn't get recovered. I'm gonna, so if you're just tuning in, this paint was completely solid when we started an hour ago and I've been slowly working on it and I really just wanna use it to paint my bunny. I'm thinking about just straining it out. I have a brown metal flock of birds. That is not the right word. Um, I want to paint gold. What paint do you recommend? And should I use a primer first? With gold, you could just use a like orange, like a summer crush, and then use our, uh, what is it? What is, not pennies from heaven. What's the gold one? Oh, it is golden ticket. Golden ticket over the top of the orange. And you're gonna get a really great gold color. You might have to do a couple of coats, but that would look beautiful and you wouldn't have to use any primer. So just use the DIY paint and summer crush paint them, let it dry completely, then do at least two coats of the golden ticket and they'd be really pretty. So I'm gonna try to just strain out the chunks here. And I will not give up on the rest of this paint. So I don't know if I'm you guys can hear me okay. I got, I got my little mic charging right here. I'm ready to go. We've been having so many sound problems today. I was mm -hmm. not ready for the Wednesday, I guess. Well, it's my fault. I saw the, the mic left in from when we were filming our video yesterday for the craft kits, and I just set it on the counter instead of plugging it in. I'll accept responsibility for that one. Okay, so I've got some paint. It's a little thinner than it would have been, and I want to make it a little bit more purple. So this is French Millinery, and I have a painterly paint. I'm actually not 100% sure what color this is. I Caitlin, what are my options for 
the purple. I think there's a couple in the new painterly line. But this is the pre-production paint, so it doesn't have a label on it. Oh, that's going to make that so much brighter. I like to use a little bit at a time when I'm adding the paint relief into my DIY paint. I did this the other day with paint blue. But I have just like a tiny little bit left in here, and so rather than waste it, I figured I'd use it to brighten up some colors. And French millinery is kind of a gray purple. That just smells so great. <laughs> oh, it smells. The sounds you're getting. Sounds out. so great. The Sorry for that. Out of that. So, I'm telling you, it's the bottom of that tube. All right, this is making a little bit more purple, and I'll be ready to paint my little bunny. Maximum ultraviolet. Yes, that's what I was thinking it was. Maximalist is darker. It's more of a Lehigh purple. So you can. I don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up on camera. But the top of my knife is the original purple and the bottom is the one that I've added this like uh, painterly to. So if you have the painterly, it's totally, you're totally able to mix it because it doesn't have any like acrylics or anything in it. It's water-based. You can mix it with your DIY paint. <laughs> First they thought you were painting a tire. Now they think you're painting a fire hydrant. I couldn't unsee the red fire hydrant when I was painting it. It's my own fault. I mentioned it. Now no one can unsee it. I'm going to paint a bunny. This bunny has ears. I just removed them. They're just fabric ears. And I can't really move this because I'm just going to make sure you can see it on camera because it's wet. How do I get the craft kit? Cindy, they are all sold out. We may have a few more available. We will wait a, a, at least a week, maybe two weeks to make sure everybody got their craft kit because inevitably when you ship 150 to 200 of anything something gets lost some things get broke so we got to make sure everybody's taken care of oh this is definitely oh yeah that's brighter great. so this is that french millinery that was completely solid that i've been messing with for like an hour trying to get it to solidify and then just a little bit of that ultraviolet to get a more lavender color less gray i wanted it to be a little bit brighter So if your DIY paint gets dried up, do not, don't stress. Just chop it up as fine as possible, put water with it, and just keep working with it. The longer it soaks in the water, the better. Because it's just, it's mostly clay. It's the only paint that's made with that amount of clay. I've never seen another paint that I could do that with. So it, when it dries out, the clay, you know how when clay hardens, it's kind of just, you can get it wet and work with it again. Same thing. Yeah, the signups are closed. We will open them back up again. We do it every three months. In March. So once a quarter. The next or one the will middle ship. of February. Um, yeah, the next one will ship end of April. Yeah. So we'll, we'll open it back up again once this one is all done and gone. And then uh -oh, I, had I don't know what we're doing next time. It's something different every quarter. And we offer, if you want to pay a little bit more and you don't want to do the subscription where you get it every quarter, you can do that. Or you can just sign up once it opens again and be surprised. I try to make it fun. You made it sound like it's more expensive to sign up. Oh, sorry. It's more expensive to sign up for the one time only as opposed to like the subscription where you get it every quarter. Because it helps us because I have to order so much product. It's it's less stress on us to know how many we're going to sell. So that's why it's a little cheaper to do the subscription. Because it's a, it's an all hands on deck situation. So this is not as thick as DIY paint because it was not all the paint softened, but I'm getting pretty good coverage. Even so. And this is probably like 12 parts of that DIY mix to one part of the painterly. It wasn't much painterly. The squoes out of there. What's a craft kit? Um, so we do quarterly craft kits where we send um, paint, brushes, and then something to make. And the item varies every month. And we do a or every quarter. And you can put it together. We do a video that shows how to 
It's that great what? if you want to try something out, mm -hmm. but don't want to buy like a ton of supplies. We send you like small sample amounts to try things. And you usually get like a day decoupage paper. Last time around, we sent some extra inlays that we had. Yeah, we did. Remember when we did the painting of fabric? That one was really popular. We've done corbels. We did a clock. Just do fun stuff together. We only do it quarterly because we just don't have time to do it more often as it is sometimes like this time because we had a supplier issue. We're like down to the wire getting them mailed out. We usually like to start sending them about a week before the end of the quarter. Do you walk through the craft class? Yes. So every craft kit comes with a video that goes from start to finish how to do the craft. Um, and we put a, a QR code. It's like a square box. There's a bunch of dots that you can co cover with your phone and it'll link you straight to that video. Um, and then we just show you how to do it. When I first was going to do craft kits, I thought about doing like a typed out letter, but I realized that Zeb and I are a lot better at teaching through video. Yeah. So if you search like January vintage craft kit, you might actually find some videos because usually we just make them live, public. Yeah. So that everybody can like see the techniques and how they're done. Yeah, this time we didn't do it public because we don't have extra craft kits to sell because of the supplier issue, but usually they're public. I am like so excited that I was able to save this. I didn't have any other paint, so I didn't have an option. There was no There was no other purple. There was your, no other purple in for my your cabinet. Purple Eastery bunny with the spring colors. I'm telling you though, adding this ultraviolet just makes it so much more purple and less gray. I love it. Do you guys want, do you want to show them? Did you show them all of the rolling pins like finished? Um, we panned over to them, but I okay. haven't showed them since they've been, they're probably dry enough. You can grab them and bring them over once you're done painting that. I don't want to risk. It'll look, I didn't show them all together except for drying over there. So it'd be all fun right. to see I'm gonna, them all I'm going to give them just a couple more minutes to dry. Okay. I'm going to heat gun my bunny so I can clear wax it and put the ears back in. I'll paint the bottoms of these once we're all done. I keep forgetting to paint the bottom first. Rashonda likes my purple bunny. Thank you. I was trying to match it. So when I thrifted this bunny, it had like the fabric ears. And so I was trying to match, coordinate with the colors that it already had. Once the rest of that softens up and I mix it all up I might just mix the rest of this because there's not much with this and then I'll have this purple for a future project you can use the painterly paints just as they come they're really bright like very vivid bright some neon colors um, I don't use a lot of neon so for me I'm probably going to wind up mixing it in a lot of different stuff Rex, where's Cody? Is he in with Grandma? I think so. That's why probably why Rex is pacing because he wants to be in with Grandma too. Yeah. But are you? Is Grandma got you shut grandma out of her room? Grandma can't hear him when he scratches on the door. If you're new here, my mom lives with us, so she's their puppy, Grandma. The bunny is sold, yes. But Caitlin did drop a link to Zeb's candlesticks. He's working on, I think. I was like, I felt air. It's from his tail. Those two buckets that I did, those are still available. Your bunny in the color of a conversation heart or a peeps bunny. Yeah, right? It does look like that. Oh, they said to soak my blender end in crud cutter and it'll take the paint oh, off. Yeah, I probably do. It's my fault. I don't so it gets really gummed up when we mix milk paint with it because the milk paint, like that stuff when it dries. It's, well, and bond. It's like rock hard. Yeah. I'm not going to distress the bunny. It probably will distress on its own over time. It was raw wood, so this paint's going to stick really well.
If you guys subscribe and follow us, we'll let you know when craft kits open back up again. I'm not the best at promoting them. I'm not going to lie. I should be better, but sometimes there's just only so much you can do in a day. But they are really fun. And I always like to think, like, what would I want to make in a craft kit? Because some craft kits are cheesy, and I try really hard. Try really, try really hard to make them like actual decor somebody would want. <clears throat> I did take the two projects though that we did on the video and I dropped them by the shop. So somebody will eventually get them as happy mail. Cause I didn't have Fair anywhere. To, I didn't have anywhere to put them in my house. And so we put them in there for happy mail for people that share on Facebook. You know how we, we mail stuff out. Sometimes I, keep it for myself. Sometimes I give it away to like neighbors, friends, because we do a lot of, we do a lot of projects. I can't keep them all. And then there's also like the trial and error craft kits that are never on video. The first ones, the experimentation ones. So the class wouldn't be on YouTube. Oh yeah. It's on YouTube. It's just, it's just public, it, the one YouTube. for this month is private. Like we made the video link private instead of public. Because if people see the video, then they want to buy it. And I didn't have any more that I could sell. I might make it public if when we're all said and done, I have a few extra left over to help sell off those extra craft kits. But like I said, we got to wait until this is dry. I'm getting some highs and lows in it that I like. I wonder if it's because I didn't quite mix it up all the way. Um, but I got to wait and see if, how many extra that we have. So. Oh, Ruru Roo too said, I saw velvet bunnies at Michael's and thought of Zeb. That was one of the first videos. Remember that the orange, orange velvet, bunny, velvet that we bunny? Oh my gosh, that thing was horrendous. <laughs> it's not the best. It ended up being okay. It was fine. By we made it look we like a chocolate done, bunny, but it required. But the orange was not good ever. And, well, I remember it just like took so much yeah, it paint. The paint up. I would, zero out of 10, would not recommend. Can it be done? Yes. Should it be done? I don't know. I'm going to go check my clock. I think it needs just a couple touch-ups. Would brown look good under the copper? Probably. It would make it dark more kind of like a brassy when you distress through. But yeah, you can use a lot of colors under it. I'm just using clear wax to seal up my bunny. Then I'll wipe it back with a towel or washcloth. And then I'll put the ears back in and this bunny will be ready for its new home. The other reason I picked purple is because this bunny had like these yellow ribbons around the ears. And I think that the yellow ribbon will look cute with this color purple. This is starting to look pretty good. I got a couple little red streakies I'm gonna touch up here. Aunt B says she remembers that. I wish I knew which video it was on because, like, that would be a good one just to, like, edit the, the bunny out. We're going to hopefully start doing some shorter videos on Facebook, like the three-minute ones, and just edit out some of our stuff. But we just haven't had time. My, my software that I used to use on my phone no longer works. So Zeb's had to edit the videos. And just... Not we used to have the, such a like flow when I could edit them. So are you second coating that? Just like real like light touch up, just to get rid of some of the streakies and the red peeking through here and there. Are you gonna dark wax it? Yep. Okay. Yeah, then it doesn't have to be perfect if you're gonna dark wax it. I just have some red spots that I yeah. want to address where I missed. Apparently, that we don't have. Do we have any more of the PS brushes, Caitlin? Or are they no longer being made? You can also just use our one and a half inch uh, stencil brush is amazing. And I just ordered like 700 more. So please buy them. <laughs> Those work really well, especially for small situations. Diana says she likes the purple mix with painterly. Me too. It's not like a huge difference from French millinery, but that painterly is so vibrant. It just makes the color more intense i'm <laughs> all right i missed a spot under the arm 
I missed a spot under this arm. Always pull your pieces upside down. I don't recommend painting over wax, but I didn't want those weird spots. Did you already wax it? What? Did you already wax it? Yeah. It's all right. So I'm just doing like real light coats and really stretching this out where I got a couple little streaky spots. I mean, if I was not doing this live, I'd probably let it dry a couple hours. Yeah. But this is like raw wood, so this paint is really soaked on there well. Okay, and it will lighten up as the wax dries. And I might come back later and lightly distress it. We'll see. I don't know. Let me get the wax off my hands. I can put the bunny ears back on it. So this is the bunny ears that it came with. And you can, can you guys see the purple that's on there? That's, they're like grapes or purple cherries, plums. You know, so plums? Yep. Oh, you know what? I can't put these ears on. I got, it's gotta you gotta be dry, let that dry. hole dry in there. Yeah, well, this is gonna be together tomorrow. <laughs> you, you might even gonna... wanna take like a pipe cleaner and run it through there a couple yeah, times. Yeah, we are gonna. I... <laughs> before you put those ears I, through. I thought better of it. I was like, oh no, Jamie don't, Jamie ain't gonna do that. Cause then video malfunction. Maybe they're behind. <laughs> nope, it looks like we're okay. Okay, the PS brushes you can get. So if you need a good wax brush, just order a one and a quarter inch stencil brush. It's a good option. To be honest, the, that's probably not your Bex wax brush because look at it. But one day I needed a wax brush, probably over a year ago, and I just took this one and did it. It's been my wax brush ever since. You could probably use another style of clean on brush. They're good quality brushes, so they hold up to a lot of abuse. All right, what can I work on next? This is still drying. This, I think I can heat gun, paint it. Problem is there's like purple down here and I don't really want purple. Hold please. I'm gonna set this back outside one more time and just let that dry up real good. And then we'll dark wax this and put the clock face back in it. I knew I shaved this grocery bag from Harmon's for a reason. I'm gonna heat gun this, and then I'm gonna probably paint it crockery. I think. That's. Do we have? Hopefully, crockery you, out? can you guys still hear me? Like, I, I, my mark, my mic got enough charge, so I moved it back up. Let me see if we have any comments. Yeah, everybody says you sound good. So. Okay. Would you mind looking for crockery for me when you Yeah, head hopefully back? we have some. Just laying out the side. You might hear some beeping. We've got some lovely road construction happening. So Tammy, when we're all finished, I will pull out the rolling pins that are being shipped. And then I will update the photos on the thrifted collection with the rolling pin you're getting. I'll probably just delete the old post and do new posts with just the rolling pin. So that way you know which one you're getting. And then one of them, the one that had all the little circles on it, that won't be available till Saturday because that's actually from this week's thrift haul. So that'll go up on Saturday. There's some crockery for you. I've got this one to finish painting copper. Thank you. I wonder if we mixed anything with, does that look like straight up crockery? No, it's, it's regular crockery. Okay. I don't recommend heat gunning your primer because it can bubble, but. It's a live stream. We got to get it You got to do what you got to do. Oh, here, look. Oh, that needs some heat gun. So I can show you that this one, hold on. Did you take my heat gun? 
You did take my heat. Yeah, this ink is still drying, so I'm not going to mess with it. This one is going to go up Saturday because this is the one that I, we just bought. The other ones, I have to look at the pictures and match the handles to know which ones are sold and which ones are not. Oh, what? We, can you fix the black bars? We've been on an hour and a half. Oh. So, Caitlin, if you have to go, I can manage comments because I know you're normally only on here with us an hour. So let me know. We'll probably be another 30 minutes. Yeah, right around there. I got to get that clock finished. If you're just tuning in and you need any paint and products or want to buy our thrift flips, go to jamierayvintage.com. If you go to thrift finds and flips and you scroll through, we actually have a good amount of things available and things that we've painted from past projects. Caitlin is multitasking other work. Perfect. Okay. Because we usually never like plan to go longer. It's not like we've talked about it ahead of time. So it's like a last minute. Yeah, we got time. Let's go longer. Let's finish some of these. We, gotta get we have this. to paint them off camera, whether you guys are with us here or yeah. not. And we are going to do, so off camera today, we're going to work on those platters that we're going to do the candlesticks. Those will be on the video that goes up tomorrow because we'll get those going because we'll probably wind up painting a bunch of stuff. Then we'll head to the bins and come back and finish it. So that way it can air dry while we're gone. We had friends of ours that went to the bins. <laughs> they <were> like, <laughs> They've been watching us go to the bins. They're like, let's go to the bins. We're bored. Like, let's go. It was go. awful. I'm like, well, I never told you it was fancy. She's like, I can't believe that's what you guys are doing every week. I'm like, listen, it's not for everybody. There's a reason we're finding good stuff there. Yeah. And we have to dig. It's not like it's, it's not like regular thrift stores where it's neatly placed on a shelf. The Goodwill outlets is, uh, it takes... It takes some uh, extra grit and tenacity to even bother going through that well, stuff. Well, people are like, oh, I don't know how you could do it. I'm like, listen, I have dug through barns with stuff that I'd rather not talk about. Like, the bins is not that deep. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, make sure I don't have any drippy paint here. The reason I wanted to do this crockery is because I thought this would look really cool with a pots transfer on it because we actually created this color to look exactly like crockery like the like crockery crock. that you find so i thought that would be fun for this bucket linda says her area doesn't have um the goodwill bins so we went a few times a long time ago and we're like eh, is it worth it but we've been finding like we don't find those quilts that we've been getting anywhere else and Quilting's like having a resurgence. People with like the cottage decor that's really coming into style, people are like, give me an old quilt that's hand stitched and they love it. And not every single thing we find is hand stitched there, but we get a lot of like um, Afghans Afghan and... style things. Yeah, lots of, lots of great stuff. And I find older books that I don't normally find at the regular thrift stores either. Paula says, thank you so much, both of you. Well, you're welcome. We have fun. It's our job is a lot of work and it can be stressful. It can be a little crazy. It's always, I'm not going to lie. If you are a reseller, you can attribute to December and January. You know, it's going to be slow. Um, and you plan for it, but every year you're like, oh my goodness, am I gonna, am I gonna be okay? Am I gonna make this? So every time I do have to say that whenever an order comes in, in January, we're like, woohoo, <laughs> because it does get occasionally slow, but it's picking back up. People are starting to get their projects done. Weather, if you have a retail store, weather is a huge thing. Like nobody comes in the store when the weather's bad. Yeah. Then I feel like sometimes nobody comes in the store when the weather's good because everybody's outside. So They're out playing. Depends. When the weather is consistently good, then I feel like it's We need best. like medium weather. Thank you, Lisa. She's been a member, a channel member for 36 months. That is a good long while.
Lynn says, a true diehard thrifter here. My favorite garage sale was when someone would put everything out in boxes and you had to dig through it. Absolutely. What they label the box. It's like $1.50 for everything in this box. <laughs> Somebody wants to see that. So this bunny, I we're not painting it. It had chippy paint on it. It's actually, luckily, that's cool now. <laughs> it's actually on the website somewhere because it's a thrift find. I was going to paint it, but I love the chippy paint. So we might it as is. go find it if it doesn't sell before the live stream's over once we're done and like relist it so it shows back up. Yeah, it sometimes you have to dig through. Because it was like, I'd say it was a solid six months ago that we found that. And we've distressed it some, so the picture is going to look a little different than what you see online anyway. Because it, the paint was kind of chipping anyway, so we, we sanded it, I air hosed it off, and got all that peely chippy paint off. So it's, it's a little different. I'm not worried about perfection on this. I'm going to get it dry enough on the outside that I can let it cool and put an IOD transfer. And then eventually I'll probably dark wax it to make it look old and decrepit. We sell a ton of crockery. And it's funny because when the color came out, Debbie's like, didn't know how popular it would be. And I would say next to probably Americana and Americana, white linen, and crockery are our three most popular colors in this line. And a lot of times, people, once they start using crockery, they love it so much. I can tell because they're next to order one, and the next time they order four. Thanks, Caitlin. She dropped the link to this paint color that I painted on my bucket here. Oh, it would be cute if it was painted black to look like cast iron. The only reason I'm apprehensive to paint it is because the original paint and paper mache finish is so like good and old looking. I don't want to lose that, you know? And not everybody loves like old and chippy, but the people that do, they're diehards. And it's so hard to find the authentic old and chippy. All right. Now that this is copper and not that dark bronzy, I'm gonna dark wax this to kind of bring some of these details back, but what's the consensus? Are you guys liking them better copper? Not liking them at all, too big? I mean, they're real fancy. They are a little- I think the dark wax is gonna make those things stink. Like yeah. They I feel like- Cause it's gonna okay make all these copper, details really show up. But the dark wax is yummy. I have a few spots to check, check but I want to be really dry first. Uh, Jory says she loves them. Kayla says she'll be back in a second, so I'll be watching comments. I'm not as good as Kaylin, so lower your expectations. Where my paint's a little thick, I'm having to heat gun it some more. All right, I'm gonna go get that clock. We should be ready for dark. Lisa wax. said you painted a tire, a chest piece, and now or a fire hydrant, and now a chest piece. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Two of them. Everybody hear the construction when you go outside? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to second coat this one side because this is the one that I want to do the transfer on. And then I'm going to let the other side dry really well before I second coat it with the crockery because if the paint's a little thicker on that side, it's just going to take a while. I wasn't very good at evenly putting it on. All right. Dark wax. Where did I put you? Hello, Mary Lee from Wisconsin. How is the weather? Is 
They said they'd be great for a wedding display. I think they'd also be great like next to a fireplace because it's all, I think it's always pretty to have candlesticks next to a fireplace and you need something substantial so it doesn't look chintzy. They're very brocant, no, baroque. That's the style. All right, this is dry. What this... is the occasional squeak sound like a bird? Oh, you're hearing the, we got con road construction. They're redoing like infrastructure or sewer lines or something over there why across do you the paint, way from us. Why do you paint red underneath? So we paint red underneath so that way we get better coverage with the copper because the copper's thin like a top coat and the red just makes it so we don't have to use as much copper because the copper patina, the little jar is like $33. It goes a really long way. I mean... But you, it, you'd want to make sure you're being judicious with it. These, I mean, we're happy to sell you all the copper you want, but we try to show you the tricks on how to stretch it, you know? So this side is dry. I'm going to um, second coat the back side that I'm not going to put the transfer on while that cools down. And I'll probably second coat the inside. So the dark your, wax is, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, you want your paint to be cool and dry before you try, attempt to put a transfer on it. Otherwise, it'll be a nightmare. All right, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, the dark wax is going to make all these details come back out instead of just kind of blinding your eye with the one solid copper. Give it some interest, give it some age, make it look like I didn't just paint it. I feel like it makes it look more it, authentic. Yeah, it'll make the copper look more. It'll it'll really sell the realistic copper look. Paula says, Jamie's chats about vitamins helped me immensely. I didn't know to take magnesium with food. Bought the liquid iron too. I'm always low on my blood work. Oh, well, I'm glad. I, I got in trouble by a doctor the last time. They told me to not be offering unsolicited advice. So <laughs> I haven't brought up supplements again because I didn't want to get in trouble. But I'm just telling I'm glad you what that works it, for us. I always tell people, see your doctor, but I'm glad that that Which works. Which you did when you were telling them yeah, that last did, time. If you have blood work and it shows deficiencies, that's always good. My mom has been using the liquid iron as well, and it does, it does help. All right, I'm not going to let this copper sit on here, or this uh, dark wax sit on here too long, because then it'll harden up and I don't want it to be that dark. Just wanted to kind of sit in the creases and cracks. Oh, 29 text messages. Oh, somebody was asking about the new paper, the, the new A4 rice paper. It, we will have a video out Friday. Yep, it comes out Friday to the public. The retailers already have it. Um, you can find them on our retailer map if you don't. If it, I mean, a lot of them put videos out and things and have their own bunch of people following them. But the retailer map can be found at jrvwholesale.com. Be sure to check with your Jamie Raven JRV paper retailer to make sure they got them. I think we've had about 20-ish retailers that have purchased it. So they haven't all bought it. But if you ask for it, we can ship it out to them if they don't have it yet. But yes, th that release will be Friday. We're going to, it'll be, it'll go up like a live video, but we've got an appointment um, that's going to last about three hours on Friday. And so we're going to pre-record it tomorrow for a live video to go up Friday morning. We'll probably do, do you want to do 10 or do you want to do nine? Yeah, we can put it up at 10. We'll put it up at 10 on Friday. So make sure you guys um, sign up for our text messaging because you'll get a text when it goes live. Um, or just check back on Friday. We'll have that video up. So there's these little creases in the panel. I'm just dark waxing these two. I don't want to do the whole full coverage, but this just where cool. like moisture or water would sit down if it was outside. We'll wipe that back too. And if it gets too much, because the, the copper is a patina, it has a built-in sealer. So I'm able to go right over this without clear waxing. But every now and then, if it's like textured, and you paint over it with the copper, you'll have some where you don't necessarily want it. And you can come back with clear wax and use that like an eraser, which we, we might do. I might play around with it a little here, but maybe not. 
All right, so I'm grabbing another transfer from my traditional pots transfer. I'm going with the one with the rooster because I feel like this particular bucket is kind of farmhousey. So I'm gonna put that on there. And then all I have to do is seal over the top of it. And then the rest of this is sealed. We can put that handle back on. I might eventually lightly distress to bring out some of that white underneath. But the reason why we painted this, this had a big crack in it. Nobody wanted to buy it at the thrift store. I can't even tell you without, oh, it was like right here. Zeb super glued it. It's perfect. You can use it for decor now, just the way you could have before. But sometimes people just, if something is cracked and broken, they don't, they don't want to fix it. Do you like the green patina look on pieces? We do. Sometimes Zeb does like a, like a, a verdigree type, a verdigree finish. type finish. Probably not on something this big inside the house because that can get messy when it drips around, but we do it on occasion. I need my stick. All right, I'm gonna just. They say your clock's looking good. It looks so real. Yeah, the dark really just brings it home. I'm just gonna do like some. There we go. I was just looking too bright Fine. after doing the top. So now I'm going to do the sides and I just put a little like schmear on and then rubbed it around with my paper towel here. I'll come around the front and show you so you guys can see what's happening. So if you were doing this at home, I would let this paint dry a couple of hours before you try to do the transfer, especially on something this uh, slick. I am a uh, risky business here, but I think I got it. When I say smear, did you guys see that? It was real fancy technique right there. <laughs> it comes with hours and hours of practice, right? And I will show you guys this when I'm done. Can't just, I just can't do it facing the camera. Well, you learn, as you, as you do it more and more, you learn that you gotta let go of perfection a little bit. And sometimes you just gotta get whatever medium you're doing on there. Same with paint. Like people are like, you guys are just slapping paint on there. Well, we throw as much paint on as we can real quick. And then once it's all nice and even on there, we will smooth the brush strokes out before it dries. It's a more authentic look. You ever seen something that was painted back in the day? It was drippy. It was slapped on. It wasn't perfect. It's, it's intentional. Um, somebody was asking about dried up paint. Um, but if you rewatch this, I rehydrated some paint and I used it on my bunny. Um, and I've still got more paint. Just add water to your DIY paint. Make sure to break up all the chunks and put warm water and then stir it up. Let it sit overnight. Just be patient. You can rehydrate it. You may have to strain out chunks. It's not perfect, but. Sorry, hopefully you're not just getting my shoulder. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. Here's my bucket. Ta-da! You want to bring that close and show yeah. them? Some of it's still wet, so I'm just going to take my Harmon's grocery just don't drop bag. It. Can you guys see that? Zeb can. Oh, it's like wobbly. Hey, you moved this uh, handle over here and we lost one of the rings. Do you know where the other ring is? No. Okay. Did you guys see that? Sorry, I couldn't hold it and fix the camera at the same time. It's got to be around here somewhere. It was up over here. It's probably still over there. We'll find it. It's right there. Okay. So all I need to do now is just make sure that this is attached really well. You want to, what's it called? Burnish it. And then I'm going to seal just the transfer with some top coat. All right. I was going to bring the brass back on in this, but I'm getting the red. So we're going to, we're going to not do that. You're going to not do that. Yeah. They're just going to be copper rivets now. This is not just milk in a canning jar. This is final finishes top coat in matte. <laughs> if you're new she here. She burned the lid the I other day. burned the lid and melted it so I couldn't waste it. So I poured it into a canning jar because canning jars are plentiful here. And this one actually probably was a mayonnaise jar. It's not an actual canning jar. So I'm going to go ahead and seal a little bit further than just the transfer. So that way you can't see where I stopped and started. Just go all the way to the scene here. I'm gonna stop messing with this. I'll let it dry. I'll come back when it's super dry with 320 lightly bring back some of the white, put my little handle back on and this project will be done. I think this one is still available. So I'll get the photo updated. 
so that way somebody can buy it. Either I'll do it or I take it to the shop and when they print out the tag, they see that the photo's not fixed and they're really good about updating it for me. Um, here's the handle that's gonna go on it. It's kind of a rusty brown with a chippy white. I think that's gonna be good. If somebody wants to see, this is the purple paint that I reconstituted. I added a little painterly with it, but I was able to paint my bunny and my paint. The people that have been here since the beginning can attest to the paint was completely solid. There was no sorcery. Okay. Um, let me heat gun that clock and I will wet distress it and clear wax. We're going to get this clock back, this big clock back together right now. Okay. Put that over there. So it's only still wet, like down in the cracks. Hey, Beth, it's our first time watching us both. Welcome. We're just painting some thrifted finds from the Goodwill and the bins and the thrift stores. I just ordered two colors of milk paint and Sherbond. Oh, that is awesome. I was going to use milk paint today, but I... I think the whole mixing of this DIY paint, I got distracted and didn't get my milk paint done. The little... bunny looks like Barney. It does not. When it gets the ears in it, it won't. It's cute. All right. Okay, clock is coming. I should say the cottage color paint, it has a built-in sealer. So what I did with this DIY paint to like reactivate it and like make it usable again, that you can't do that with a cottage color. I'm gonna take my big chunk and put it in here and tighten up the lid and that way I can use this later. It's funny, now that I'm mixing this back in here, I can really see what difference adding that ultraviolet paint really did to my French millinery. That was my tester battery. We can't ship them with batteries. Whoever got this, you're going to have to put a double A in it. Yep. We don't make the rules. All right. Does that look like... The 12 is up where it's supposed to be. Oh, are you asking me? Yep. Hold on just a second. Hold on, just look at it. No. The 12 right, is not. Which one is the 12? This one? The 12 should be up top. No, it needs to come to this way a little. Okay. I mean, oh, I was going to say you could just rotate it, but it does have hanging hardware. Yeah, it's got. I'll show you guys up close. This is the paint that was super, it was all the way solid at the beginning of this video. Two hours later, let me show you progress. Can you guys see inside there? So. That's where we're at. I'm gonna let that sit overnight and then tomorrow I'm gonna mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it up some more. The clock looks amazing. Oh, I forgot the glass. And Judy's Let's... watching us from New Zealand. Here, I'll show you guys before I get all the way finished because I'm gonna put the glass in but then we might start getting a glare. What do you think? They say it looks fabulous. Someone picked this up Saturday night before I even painted it. I hope they love it. I did say I, I was painting it I think you mentioned that you were going copper, so they they must have liked that idea. And it's big. Like J Jamie's mom came out after watching the video. She always watches us live in the other room. And then she came out and she's like, oh, my goodness, that's so much bigger than I thought it was. So DIY paint side note, um, is water soluble until it's sealed. So I'm just using a damp rag to pull this back. And this original clock has so much great texture that I'm not, this is going to be a really easy flip to bring back some of that look. Do we have any glass cleaner out here? Like this is so dusty. He said it looks like real copper. Thank and you. Annie says she loves watching us. Thank you. We love painting. We do. Have Some people glasses. don't like the chit chat on the live videos. So inevitably we'll get the. You talk too much. You talk too much. More project, less talking. We're like, well, this was live and we actually had people to interact with. So sorry. <laughs> we, we could go live and just put like music that we've licensed on and just be quiet. I don't know if that's possible for me. 
<laughs> I don't know if it's possible for me. And I'm real good at being quiet. I like to talk to my friends on the. If you guys see me looking over here, I've got a laptop so I can see all your. Inevitably, comments. what will happen because when I get in the middle of like a long project, I go through like all the songs that I know and I start singing. Yeah, Zeb does uh, sing a lot when it's just the two of us. If we run out of things to talk about, he has a pretty good singing voice, so I don't mind. They said they love the chit chat. Well, if you're here, especially if you've been here for almost two hours. How many people are still watching? Um, 752 between oh, Facebook and that's a pretty good uh, for Wednesday. middle of the day. Yeah, I'm actually like really loving those buckets we did at the beginning with the IOD transfer. It's like a yeah, really I've, simple. We used to paint them all the time, and then we, a couple weeks ago we did just on the galvanized, and I like it a lot on the galvanized. Colleen says she likes the chit chat. She's home alone. It just sounds like a good background, getting work done. My, I feel like my voice is kind of pingy, so I actually have a hard time listening to myself. Oh, I did this backwards. But I can't change my voice. Hold, hold on. Hold, please. Okay, let me show you this up front. I'm going to wax it, and then we can put... Now, this will still have the gold frame, so I'll have to decide if I want to paint that or leave it as is. I'm going to show you how cool this looks, just the white with the distressing of bringing back that original. So it's not quite so dark. It was like dark and you couldn't see all the detail before. And now it just all pops. Do we have clear over here? Clear wax? Maybe I have it over there. Renee said she wouldn't stay without the chat. Well, you're my sister, so. You know what I can do? I can seal it with um, this top coat here. People ask me, like, how you decide what you want to seal it with. I don't know, it just depends on what I've got handy. Clear wax or liquid sealer will work on this. I need to heat gun it a little more, though it's still a little wet in the cracks. <laughs> Making sure we're lined up here. Nope. Okay. Johnny says we check several times a day for videos and posts. Thank you. We do. I do post. Sometimes I share old videos. Like people will comment on a video that we made a long time ago, and then I'll share that out on Facebook. Here, I, I wish to, that YouTube let you can share. Can you hold that, that up for me so I can like look at it from farther back? Yeah. You need me to do that like right a second. No. Put here, my okay. brush down. Actually, hang on. I'm going to hang it on the wall and I'll see what it actually looks oh, that's like smart. so that I can I like it. Get my I like it also because I when I'm like in the middle of, when I'm in the middle of doing a project I don't like stopping. There. Now that I can watch me do it. <laughs> Glad the stairs are clean. I use the stairs to like put everything the kids leave downstairs on the stairs. Okay. All right. So this rivet here is the top. Okay. I'll put your art back in a second. That's all right. So 
Let's make it a little mark so I can see it. It wouldn't be such a big deal, but I'm gonna like nail it back in. I see you use a heat gun. Are they expensive? Um, so they're from Amazon. They're not super expensive. And we don't use them a lot when we're not live. We just move on. We like paint, 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 paint. And then occasionally we'll use it if we have to circle back and something's not dry yet. Um, but on live videos, they're super handy and they're a lot quieter than like a blow dryer. So if Caitlin's on here, depending on what she's doing, she might could drop you a link. We get them on Amazon. Okay, I'm going to heat gun this and then we can put the clock face in. I actually kind of want to leave the clock face gold. Is that weird? I think it's pretty. Kind of a two-tone look. No, I think that's fine. While you're plugged in there. And yes, we own more than one. I don't know why we're always going back and forth on. You keep taking mine. You keep unplugging it and putting it back over there. Oh. You have your own. <laughs> just, you know, never mind what That's I happened said. like four times now. I'm like, why do you keep taking it? <laughs> Oh, can you fix the screens up? Yep. We do love what we do. It is fun. I, you know what I like about, like, especially doing thrift flips, and I do like furniture, but what I've loved about doing more thrift flips is it's more variety. And we do probably a couple of pieces of furniture a month. Just depends on how much we sell in the shop. You could paint some old cookware and make it look copper. That would be fun for people to just hang on their wall. Oh, that's a good idea. This copper some, is Some expensive. decor only copper. It's not like we're cooking out of most of our copper anyway. I mean, it all needs retinned. It needs retinned. It's on my list of stuff to, to do. So I'm just drying up my sealer here so we can put the clock face back in. If I start with Monet's garden and I want a deeper green, would you add a hint of black or a different color? Maybe brown. I would I would probably do weathered wood because it's going to keep it more earthy. The black, I think, would like turn it more of like a darker gray, unless you just did like real little hints of it. So yeah, I agree with you on the weathered wood because it's more brown, but just do a little bit. Like these darker colors, you don't have to do much to get what you want and you cannot take it away. So just keep adding a little bit to make it deeper. Kathleen says, I'm in the middle of my yearly freak out with my shop question everything. It's because it's January. It's like across the board, like we still like sell stuff, right? But it's like just under where we want to be in December and January. So there's a lot of hustle that happens. So if you see me going live and showing stuff off in stories, don't worry about it. It's just me hustling. So I started using hot glue. Oh, probably a year or two ago. If you guys have ever watched Jimmy DeResta on YouTube, he uses hot glue to let, to put tons of things together or hold it while he's putting a mechanical fastener in. And I'm like, you know what? That's a really good idea. I don't know why I never thought of it before, but he swears by it. And I was watching him do a ton of stuff with hot glue on a video with leather working. He was using it to hold the, like a corner down while he was riveting the leather in. I'm like, that's brilliant because it dries, it dries so quick and it holds pretty well. This is going to need to be turned a little bit in hot glue, but I'm going to let you do that. It's got like a scuff on there. I don't want to use a magic eraser on that. I'm going to let you do it because okay. you're better at lining stuff up. There it is. The epic of the copper clock is done. I think it actually turned out really great. And we're going to finish the candlesticks, the fire hydrant. I'm just kidding. The no, bucket like with feet. Hydrant. Um, all the same way, but we have been on two hours and I'm starting to get a little hangry. So we're going to, we're going to call it quits. Let's show them the rolling pins. I still need to do the handles on the rolling pins. I will do those off camera. 
Um, and then here's my buckets that we finished. I'm gonna give you guys an idea of what we've been working on these last two hours. My hot glue has dried and my topiary is all fixed up. This is actually already sold, so we're ready to ship this out. I think these two are still available. Zeb's gonna show the rolling pins. Well, we gotta paint the handles on these rolling pins still. We got our bunny that I gotta let dry all the way, but we painted with paint that was completely solid at the beginning of this video. It's got ears that I'm gonna put through it. And then let me show you the bucket. You can show them where we're at with the other copper stuff. My bucket's still drying. It's going to get a little distressed and some dark wax, but the bucket is coming along. And I used the Iron Orchid Designs transfer called traditional pots on these four projects. So keep that in mind that we always get questions. And then we use Lay Courier, Birds and Bees, Bella, antiquity and the champagne um, stamps and i will paint these handles off camera i'll update the photos on anything that hasn't sold once we're finished and if you have any questions you can email info at jamierayvintage.com or you can comment and i'll try to get back to that and you can find everything at jamierayvintage.com and don't forget it is the last day to order the Moody Blue Milk Paint at 35% off. So if you're watching this on January 31st, 2023. 2024. 2024. <laughs> Still not ready for that. Um, be sure to order by midnight. So love you guys. We will see you. I will have an edited video out Thursday and a special edited live video out Friday for the new release of the JRB papers. So see you guys later. Catch you guys later. Have a good one.